Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Theory Fundamentals. Episode 7, Infinite Games. In this video, we will explore some of the most famous strategies for playing infinite games, such as, Tit for Tat, Grim Trigger, and Win Stay, Lose Shift. And at the end we will learn a new concept of discount factor which will help us determine the best strategies for various situations. But first, what is an infinite game? An infinite game is a game that has no predetermined endpoint. It can go on forever, or until one of the players decides to quit. Unlike finite games, which have a clear winner and loser, infinite games are more about maintaining a long-term relationship or cooperation with the other player. In these situations, you never know when the game will end, and you have to keep playing to survive or succeed. Tit for Tat is a very simple and intuitive strategy. It works like this. In the first round, you cooperate with the other player. In every subsequent round, you do whatever the other player did in the previous round. For example, you started off cooperating, and if the other player cooperated in the last round, you cooperated in this round. If the other player defected in the last round, you defect in this round, and so on. The idea behind tit for tat is to reward cooperation and punish defection. It is a very forgiving and flexible strategy, as it allows you to quickly restore cooperation after a single defection. An example of tit for tat in real life is the diplomatic relations between countries. Countries often cooperate with each other by signing treaties, trading goods, or providing aid. However, if one country violates the agreement, attacks, or sanctions the other country, the other country will retaliate by doing the same. This strategy can foster a stable and cooperative international environment, but it can also lead to conflicts, wars, or cold wars. Grim Trigger is a more severe and rigid strategy. It works like this. In the first round, you cooperate with the other player. In every subsequent round, you cooperate as long as the other player has always cooperated. However, if the other player ever defects, you defect forever. The idea behind Grim Trigger is to deter defection by threatening a permanent punishment. It is a very stable and consistent strategy, as it never changes once triggered. An example of Grim Trigger in real life is the nuclear deterrence between countries. Countries that possess nuclear weapons often cooperate with each other by avoiding direct confrontation or escalation. However, if one country ever launches a nuclear attack, the other country will launch a nuclear counterattack. This strategy can prevent a nuclear war, but it can also create a mutual assured destruction scenario. Win stay, lose shift is a strategy where the player cooperates in the first round, and then changes its action whenever it gets a low payoff. Whether the payoff is high or low is determined by the satisfaction level you want to achieve. Assume that in this simplified prisoner's dilemma game, 3 is the minimum level for a satisfying result. For example, it starts off cooperating but if the player cooperated and got a low payoff less than 3, it will shift its strategy to the other one, which is defect, for the next round. If the player defected and got a low payoff, it will cooperate in the next round, and so on. The idea behind win stay, lose shift is to learn from the feedback and adapt to the situation. This strategy can achieve high payoffs and avoid unnecessary conflicts, but it can also be trapped in suboptimal outcomes. An example of win stay, lose shift in real life is the investment behavior of a person. A person often invests in a certain asset or market based on the expected return. However, if the asset or market performs poorly, the person will switch to another asset or market. For example, if the person invested in stocks and the stock market crashed, the person will sell the stocks and buy bonds. If the person invested in bonds and the interest rate dropped, the person will sell the bonds and buy stocks. This strategy can maximize the profit and minimize the loss, but it can also miss out on the long-term growth or recovery. So, which strategy is better for playing an infinite game? Well, there is no definitive answer to that question. It depends on the nature of the game, the preferences of the players, and the discount factor. A discount factor is a number between 0 and 1 that represents how much a player values future payoffs compared to present ones in a repeated game. A lower discount factor means that the player is more impatient and prefers immediate rewards over delayed ones. 
A higher discount factor means that the player is more patient and cares more about the long-term outcomes of the game. Generally speaking, Tit for Tat is more suitable for games with a high discount factor, where cooperation is more valuable in the long run. Grim Trigger and Win Stay, Lose Shift are more suitable for games with a low discount factor, where defection is more tempting in the short run. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about infinite game strategies. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more game theory content. Also, feel free to leave a comment below and share your thoughts or questions on this topic. Thank you for watching and see you next time.